Hello everyone. In this video, I will be going over the initial configuration of a Palo Alto Networks PA220 firewall. This video will be split into four parts. The first part will be the factory reset process. Second part will be the network configuration. The third part will be the um, licensing and policies. And then the fourth part will be the dynamic updates. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of new content. All right, welcome back everyone. So what we've done is we powered up our Palo Alto PA220. Uh, and I brought it to the uh, maintenance recovery tool. So we're going to continue. Uh, and then we're going to go to factory reset. Uh, and then we're just going to go to factory reset. And we are going to wait. Uh, this process can take anywhere from 15 to 20, sometimes even 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to speed up the video and uh, we'll be back when uh, when it's done. All right, so it looks like it has completed. So we are going to reboot. So this process also takes uh, about 10, 15, 20 minutes as well. Uh, so we'll speed up the uh, process and we'll be back once it's finished. All right, so um, we're back, and I believe our firewall is good to go. So we're gonna log in with our default username of admin and admin. All right, and it's gonna ask me to change the password, which we're gonna do. Uh, I'm using Bidwarden to store our passwords, so we're gonna copy it. From here and paste it in. All right, so now we're going to show jobs all. And so the other commit is completed, so now we can begin. We're going to configure. Uh, then we're going to do set device config system and then I believe it is IP address. Uh, we're going to do 10.0.11.21 
with a net mask of 255.255.255.0 with a default gateway of 10.0.11.1. We're also gonna figure DNS servers. Uh, server primary is gonna be, for now we're gonna use 8.8.8.8.8. Secondary is going to be 8.8.4.4. So we'll set these temporarily. Um, and then uh, once we build our DNS servers, we will switch these around. Uh, we're going to commit that. All right, and while we're waiting for that to finish, we're going to configure the networking uh, on our interface. Our IP, I'm sorry, we're going to configure our IP address on the interface. Um, so we're going to set this to 10.0.11. I'm going to pick 10 for now. Uh, 255, We're going to use a default gateway of 10.0.11.1. And again, we'll just use 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. And then we'll click OK, close, and we'll leave that there for a second. As soon as we pull this back. So also, we um, so also on the uh, switch, I have already uh, configured our management interface. So let me do this. Uh, switch over here. And so now show run. Uh, and if, um, show on NT gig one zero, I believe it's five. So we configured our uh, management interface for the firewall um, on port five, and uh, we'll just we just enabled it uh, firewall management interface, um, and then we made it an access port on VMAN eleven. Um, later on, uh, when we get into port security. Uh, I will en enable port security uh, sticky max for, for this interface so that this is the only um, device, um, well, at least from a MAC address perspective, that would be able to plug into this port. Um, but we'll do that later on. Uh, so we'll leave this open. So we'll minimize that. So our commit is complete. And what we'll do is we'll connect uh, we will connect the firewall and the computer uh, to our switch. 11.21. Continuous. So first we'll connect our switch, our, our switch to our uh, firewall. And then we'll connect our computer to the switch. And if we did everything correctly, if I did everything correctly, uh, we should start seeing some traffic. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so now that that's working, uh, we'll open up a browser and start the configuration. So we can get into it by going to each HTTPS 10.0.11.21, sorry, IP. Uh, we'll fix the SSL certificates when we build our PKI servers. Um, so we'll log in with admin and our password. And then we'll log in.
So whenever you first log in, usually these cards will pop up that gives you um, overview of uh, our information that Palo Alto wants you to know. Uh, I've already read these. Um, we might look into doing something with telemetry, uh, telemetry sharing, but mm, we'll see. Um, and this just lets us know that uh, 8.0 will be end of life in October of last year. So we're not on 8, so that's not an issue. So right now this is on, uh, I believe, 9.0.6, which I believe is the latest 9.0 uh, 9.0 product line. So uh, let's jump over to the device tab and we'll start going through these um, settings. So first we're gonna call this uh, FW1, firewall one. Uh, we'll label, it, label this uh, setnetwork.org. Uh, I actually already have a pre-populated uh, banner that we can paste in here. Uh, well, uh, we should be able to force this. Uh, let's try that, and there we go. Uh, so we'll force uh, admins to acknowledge the banner when they log in. Uh, we'll set this to um, set it to uh, uh, GMT, and the rest of that is good. Click OK. Um, we're not going to do anything with the authentication profiles right now. Logging, we'll come back to passwords. We'll come back to uh, nothing with that. We're not going to do anything with security. Nope. So we're good with this tab. Um, there's nothing we need to do on this tab right now. Um, services, um, our DNS servers are already here, but we'll also add in some NTP servers. Um, we'll use zero.pool.ntp.org and one.pool.ntp.org. Uh, and again, uh, I'll change these when we build internal NTP servers, but for now, we'll set these uh, externally. Uh, we have our management interface that we've already configured. Um, by default, HTTPS, SSH, and ping are enabled in this version. Uh, so we can leave that alone. We're not going to do anything with telemetry right now. Content ID, we're going to come back to. Wildfire sessions, we'll come back to. So for now, we're good with that. Um, so let's commit those changes. And we'll close that and let it do its thing in the background. Uh, so next up, what we'll do is um, we'll configure our network so we can set up, uh, pull down our licenses. Um, so let's jump over to networks. Um, so before we can reuse these uh, these interfaces, we have to do some cleanup. So we'll jump over the policies and cancel that uh, and delete this policy. All right, and then we'll jump over to networks. We'll delete these zones. Maybe. All right, so we can delete those zones and then we'll delete the virtual, I'm sorry, the, well, the virtual wire, but the default wire, we'll delete that. Uh, and then we should be able to jump back over to interfaces uh, and then delete these interfaces. Or at least delete them, reset them back to their default configuration. Uh, 